is her request for her to use her land done appropriately and probably standing within the guidelines of this book overall uh, without making business decisions. Well, I think if they didn't have a pre-existing history of both selling properties, right. right. that it would be a more clear. It would be more clear. But they both do it. They have been doing it. So I, trying to tell someone how to use their land from a business point of view is um, a little tough for me. I agree. It's a little tough. We're always supposed to side with the, <coughs> how's it worded in there in the front of the book? I forgot. Sorry. Yeah. Right. We're, we're supposed to decide with the best interest of the land owner. You remember that, guys? Yeah. What's in the best interest of the land owner, if at all, if at all possible? So. It's not an easy decision to come to. It's not. Do we, any other questions? Anybody? I know this is not easy, guys. It's not easy at all. I would I entertain some type of motion about this application, though. Does anybody have a motion you'd like to make? I will make the motion that we accept and approve the application. Do I have a second on that? Okay. Second by Roger. Now then, discussions on the motion. Again, I feel like you're missing the, you know, you're holding to a view that's kind of uh, very acceptable, very common, but somewhat narrow. And I agree, I feel like I'm on a very shaky ground saying this. Um, but, you know, what makes a community? Mm -hmm. You know, is it just the application of a certain set of laws? Or is how people treat each other. We that's can't really legislate that. No. You know, but that's where I'm coming from. I understand. Oh, we, get we get it. I agree with you. I agree with you. on it, but like I said, it's not up to us. It's to not up to us. hard into it in that yeah. respect. It's kind of hard to say we we make that decision for both parties. Like we you, can't do that. Like you said, we have to go by what the book kind yeah, of as tells close us as we to can do. to the book and, and follow the book and, and try to be. And human we're about trying it. to. I've always tried to do it ever since I've been on the board. Uh, I'm not 100% correct all the time, but as much as I can, I'm gonna follow this book. And uh, it upsets some people. We've had other people upset with me because of, I'm following the book. And I'm <laughs> sure Ms. Albert was upset with me when she about first come in here. She said, she says, I could see it in her eyes. What do you mean I gotta do this, 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 and this, all this? She was not happy with us. She did it. She did it though. The next and, day. Uh, yeah. uh, but it's, and there's, she's not the only one. We've had a lot of people upset with us because maybe prior boards didn't. They just took care of a few little things and they didn't read the book and follow it. But if it's in the book, this is what I, this keeps me out. This lets me sleep at night when I do this. <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm just gonna ask you one more time and then I'm gonna rest my case. Yes, it says right in there, if it impacts pri the, yeah. the property value of neighboring properties, next. So how are you going to sleep with that? I can sleep with that. All right. Okay. If she was opening a crack house, yeah. Yeah. Be, yeah. I'm not being, sorry, being mean. I'm, no, but it would be a definite a definite deficit to that neighborhood. But right. we're not. We're talking about a, a saleable item. Yeah, both of them are selling the same item. And how is it going to be detrimental to the community? When you're both selling the product, you're increasing the possibility of sales is you what would, you're doing. And the availability. And, you, and the availability of it. And this way I'm looking at it. But you're, and it's not detrimental to the community from just that point, of, that narrow point of view, that very narrow point of view. It's a tough line. I feel it. I have someone opening a wedding venue one lot from mine, and there's nothing I can do about it because it's the use of their property. Right. And we are two different towns. Maybe it would be a different thing if we sat beside the board, but they're literally copying my exact business format. Okay. In this town? Yeah. Okay, we have a vote. Yes, ma'am. Before you take your vote, I just want to make sure there aren't any conditions or anything else that you want to add to your Add to the conditions for the motion? Just, just want to make sure that we've... I've thought about it. I've been thinking about that. It's not nothing new. No, I just... I, again, because I when we make sure. motions sometimes, we add conditions on the applicant. And I... 
On my emotion, I don't have conditions. No, no, you don't. But I was thinking about it. I, I, and I thought about being in your emotion earlier, but I just don't think we have the right to do that. I don't either. <clears throat> um, but I was thinking about something. I was going back to the green, green space. I was thinking about that, too. If there's something we could do back in the, back on the uh, site itself back there to improve, to do something, but it's not, she's only doing, it's only an area about the half the size of this room is all she's addressing. That's it. And may I just say, I'm all about making my property look nicer. I'm probably one of the nicest, cleanest yeah. places in town. Yes. So I'm happy to do what you need me to do to make you feel better. Even no. though it may not be necessary, but I will do it because I, I don't want to do that. I will plant flowers if you want flowers. I just, I just want to run so my business. Green strip in as a condition. <coughs> oh, no, 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 it's not fair because you right. use that area to turn our trucks. Yes, yeah. right. Yes, you got to have the area turned to turn trucks. Plus, whoever. I think thing. putting that in would impact the neighborhood. Yeah. It would impact the neighborhood more. It causes neighborhood people to be trying yeah. to get in there and back it on their lots exactly. and. That area, all that other area was approved already. It's not part of this application, mm -hmm. which is inappropriate. It's not, that wasn't done right from the start. I'll just say that. Yeah, I don't understand what that is all about. But, I but it's what's in the book is what we're looking at. Okay. What, whatever they approved before, yeah. they didn't follow this exact book. Jesse, will you explain that tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's that, probably looked it up from where we were reading that. <laughs> Green space is our very, uh, uh, appropriate for this community mm -hmm. and green strips yeah but right now in that area that big lot there so you have nothing green down. basically you're all asphalt yeah. and concrete and, I and buildings yeah and now i have all the green all around the front the that's the front that, exactly but that's the none front. of that used to be there i understand so i've done nothing but make it better and better okay but you got to understand what we're trying to say too yeah. is all that asphalt and concrete back yeah. there mm -hmm. is all impervious, contiguous, and it makes like so they need it for the trucks. It, yeah. it would have been, but now then we can't do nothing about it because it's about she brought up it's about the trucks turning in there, right. yeah. and Amy understands that too now. Well, if we had some spaces back there before she did all that, well, the trucks used to be sitting on Wiley Street. So yeah, that's a definite improvement. Yes. You know, yeah, yeah, couldn't get through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, um, they didn't like it. Oh, it's, it's going to be tough, guys. Now then, there's a motion on the floor from the planning board to approve her application, because it's been accepted as complete, to approve it as submitted. I'm saying that kind of right, aren't I? Yep. So we need to vote on, huh? It's been seconded as well. It's been seconded as well. And no one has made any... Um, Amendments to it. No, there's no amendments that came from the floor. I mean the board, not the floor, the board. So, board, we need to vote. So all in favor of approving the application that's been submitted before us, please show your right hand. Raise your right hand. Opposed? One. Three one. Motion is approved. Miss Allard, your application is approved. Thank you. I'll be in touch probably Monday with a letter, hopefully. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no. That was a heart. That was very good. See where you were. Yeah. 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 See what happens when you need it. Right. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. I'll agree to disagree. How's that? You got sucked into the car. What's that? What you said to him? What you said to him? What you said to You ain't gonna be able to sleep as good as you think. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna bust my ass for a minute. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Two things. Uh, I would like to suggest moving item B under new business up to the front so that these lovely people don't have to sit through all the rest of it if they don't want to. I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same here. It's like the comedy Wait show. Wait till you yeah. come up. You won't enjoy it now. And number two, um, I, Aaron was on top of this last time. I didn't know if we wanted to um, vote to move Roger up for that item as well. Yes. That's yeah. what we're going to do. I was going to say, we're moving him up for both of these. Okay. Well, we need a motion. I need a motion to move Roger up for item uh, Hang on a new business C and D. Oh, He's got to be done every time. We've got to move him up to vote. Right, right. Roger up to move. You, so I'll second it. All in favor, show of hands. Three nothing. I'm in. <laughs> no, you're in again, Roger. For all, for both of these. Okay. 
Zoning change for single property. This is the one I'm having an issue with. I'm going to tell you right well, up front. Yeah. That, that's why I said you who, can, who, who's, um, who's here for that? You guys? William and uh, uh, okay. I'm Eileen. Eileen I, Harmon. Are you both here? Yeah, Just you. I'm Eileen. Or you're Eileen, huh? I'm a Parsonsfield resident, Deborah Edwards. Okay. Daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> daughter. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. No, absolutely. You know, I would like you to have your house there. Um, that's my personal opinion. There's a problem. And how we're going to try to get around it, I don't know. We're going to have to talk about what to see what other people on the board is. I'll tell you what my problem is right up front. Um, it's not you having a house on that property. It's that if we approve, I mean, you can get it by it without us, to tell you the truth, by putting it as a warrant article. Right. In front of the in front of the voters, and if they vote and approve it, they'll have it. As a planning board member, the problem is that it creates a precedent, right? That anybody who wants to change a use comes up with an ordinance, and all of a sudden these land use ordinances really don't have any impact. I don't know if that's what you got. I I have a hard time with the whole situation about changing a land use uh, altogether. Where did I put that? Should we go find Colleen's stuff? Well, maybe I'll put it in here. I'm having the trouble with... Um, you understand what I'm saying? I understand your point, yes, but, um, you know, it's residential all around us. It is? Yes. That's it's the only section of land that's industrial. On one side is the gravel pit, and on the other side is a residence, and all across the street are all residences. So you're right on a border? She's right on the border, huh? So Between like, the two? You, you're one side of your property of... Um, Abuts. Abuts the gravel pit? Yes. And the other side abuts a residential area? Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then well, across the street is also makes a little all easier. That makes it easier for us. Okay. <laughs> because is this, is this drawing it right here? Yes. Okay. Because it's not laid out. It don't say, it don't tell me much. You know? it, it's, we got a drawing, but it don't tell us anything other than... Policy Marston to the state of Maine. The hatched out area, is that the one you're wanting to change? Um, I have to see what you're looking at. Let me see if I have a copy of it. Because I got, that's, that's not it there. You're the wrong one. Can we bring my map in for you guys? Yes. Mm. And what I'm having to do with it too, <laughs> my biggest concern is when I added up all the signatures you've got on these pages, mm -hmm. it don't come to 81. Well, this is, can I explain what happened with the selectmen and the town clerk for the signatures? Okay, we were told to get 81 signatures, right. so that would be 10%. Right. So I submitted that list to the town clerk, and then he was to verify if they were valid or not. Right. But Look then he didn't contact me back, letting me know that some didn't pass. Oh, okay. He presented it directly to the selectmen at their next meeting because that's what I their rule tells them to do. Not to go back and contact the applicant and let us know that we had any problems. So I found that out by watching the selectmen meeting video. So once that happened, the next day we went out and got 10 additional signatures that were valid. But when the town clerk went to check with legal if we could add 10 signatures to that, they no. said no. I agree. But they said what you could do was that the selectmen could submit the request to the to make the change. So they could submit it on, on our behalf. On your behalf. It could come through the selectmen. Right. As a selectman's warrant. That's correct. We approved it as. So why are we even? Why is it even sent to us? It has to come to the planning board to make. Do you got to look at page twelve of the ordinance? A little puppy. It don't make sense. It, 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 it does not make sense to me at all. It's in book. So yes, our section is that one point seven three dash. And this is less like industrial. Yeah. And that's all residential. Yeah. 
Procedure. Any amendment? Okay. It sounds a little easier. The plan board by favorable majority voted the entire regulation. I don't have any problem doing this for the precedent. Right. I agree. I understand that. At the back of the board. Did you consider, I mean, I don't think you can do it, but I'm just going to ask you, did you consider getting a variance from the ZBA, from the Zoning Board of Appeals? That's what we're trying to do. Oh. Yeah, but we Wait. have to put this up for vote first. You have to put this, after we approved it, the signatures and sent it on, this is what they recommended. I but see, I'm reading it too. All you have to do is tell us, uh, yeah or nay, we're going to put it up in front of the town meeting. Town meeting, that's different from the, the zoning board right. of that's appeals. Correct. When is the next, when is the town meeting? September. September, September, September what? 10th. 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 So we've only got 20 some days? Uh, days the 17th. If necessary, and we haven't decided yet uh, where we're going to put this, if it doesn't make the warrant at this particular time, we'll have a special town meeting to facilitate it because okay. this is not part of the actual town meeting agenda. I understand that, but what I'm reading this in here is, in order for us to do this, they're telling us the planning board shall hold a public hearing on the proposal. Not will, shall means it's absolute, you have to do it. Yeah. Well, if it's written another word, but shall is absolute. Yeah. Page 12. Page 12. Talk, the notice of the hearing must be posted and advertised in the newspaper or general circulation in the municipality at least seven days prior to the hearing. So days the 17th, so seven working days, boy, it's going to make it almost. Have we got enough days to do this? I don't think, I don't think it's okay. I know Carol Dowdy personally at the shopping guide. She'll make it happen. But I'm just talking about how we got to do it. Isn't that the paper you need to do? <laughs> okay, so the scenario is if we get an Avenue Shoppers Guide by next Wednesday, right. you could have a meeting on the 31st, which would be seven days after that was published, and which would be a special meeting of the planning board. Yeah, and we'd, have to, we'd have to call a special meeting then. Um, we could let's see. Yeah, yeah. so... So within 30 days, so yeah, so if you if you so chose, you could, again, schedule a public hearing for the 31st, which is a Wednesday, and I could have an ad in the Shopper's Guide for next Wednesday, the 24th, and you could have a written, where is it? Within 30 days following the public hearing, the planning board shall make a written recommendation. Right. Um, the, the question there is, the 31 days, is that enough time to get it on the warrant and post it around town? Is it? it, Mr. Selectman? What do you mean you want to get in for two weeks? Is that what you're talking about? Well, the, what days do you have? The, que the question is, is if the planning board determines that at the public hearing that this is acceptable and they want to send it to the Selectman, if I turn around and send this to the office on September 1st, does that give enough um, time. enough time for the clerk to post the warrant and, and keep up with that legal side of things for the town meeting. That's what we that's the question back to you guys. Well if we can't make the town meeting make a special meeting. Mm -hmm. special, special, special meeting. meeting. Okay. So, so can you call a special meeting just for this? Uh, we have some other items that Oh you probably will? Yeah. Okay. So do you know roughly when your special town meeting is Harvey? Not as of yet, no. It will be after the regular town meeting, though, right? Yes. Sometime later in September, maybe? Possibly, yes. Okay. I mean, it, if you waited and had it at your regularly scheduled meeting on the 21st. 21st of September? Yep, that's your that's your next scheduled planning board meeting, regular, regularly scheduled, and you had your public hearing then, sent it to the selectmen, as long as they have enough time after the 21st to, you know, I don't know when their special town meeting is, so it makes it a little more difficult. Let me ask you this. The, the board chair has the right to call a special board planning board meeting. You guys are already in session. You can make a motion to no, no. have a meeting. I mean, we can call a special meeting before we have that meeting for a regular meeting on the 21st. I'm saying you guys are meeting tonight and you can make a decision tonight whether you want to have an extra meeting. 
Oh, yeah, well, watch. You, you, you're addressing it different than I'm addressing it. Right. You, you would. <laughs> you both say the same thing. Same, same. Different train tracks. Different train. Calling of a special meeting implies that there's something that comes up out of the blue. You guys are already meeting tonight. If you wanted to make a motion tonight, vote on it to have a special meeting. You well, can do that. What's come up out of the blue is to try to make this, if we're going to do something about this, to have a public hearing in line so we can help meet the need of the town meeting. Mm -hmm. That come up out of the blue. Right, but you, but you guys are meeting, so it's a, you don't have to call it. You guys can vote on it. Right. Well, that's what. But same thing. Same so, thing. So the the big question is having the <laughs> having the public hearing on the thirty first. Is that going to meet the the uh, posting requirement for town meeting? I would think yes, but I'm not the clerk, so I can't give you an answer. All it's saying is the planning board shall hold a public hearing on the proposal. It has nothing to do with the town. Yes, but if it, if you if you're having a special meeting to make sure that it gets on the town meeting warrant, the town meeting warrant has to be posted so many days before the town meeting. Yeah, that's it's already posted. I don't think we can get it on. I was told that if you were going to get an. Uh, 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 a new ordinance, a uh, proposal for an mm -hmm. ordinance in, a had to be in by David Bauer, mm -hmm. had to be in by the end of June. So this is going to, I think, you double check me, but I think this is going to require a special town meeting. I think so. I believe so, that's what's going to happen. So if you're going to need a special town meeting, do you Why do we even do you, want to worry about it then until... Do you want to still have the special meeting or do you want to just have it at your regular... We have it at a regular meeting. We'll start out with the a public hearing that night. And then we'll go right, like we did tonight, then we'll go right into our regular meeting. Okay? It doesn't say we have to do a site walk or nothing here. It don't say nothing about a site walk, so I, I'm not going to recommend a site walk unless the board decides they want one. We'll just do a public hearing on it and go from there. So there's a few things. There's at least one other thing plus the time and date that we need to discuss. So, right. Um, where is it? The notice must contain the time, date, and place of the hearing and sufficient detail about the proposal changes as to give adequate notice of their content. It's a very light sentence on page 12. Right. The, the first paragraph procedure, number one, the amount of said fee, to, uh, the last sentence, the amount of said fee to be determined by the planning board. That's what we need to determine. Because What's this? Where'd you read that at? Procedure number the one, last the last sentence. B. Last line of what? First paragraph under B. B. The amount of said fee is due to be determined by the planning board. Yeah. And the wow. sentence before that, a fee to cover the cost of the public hearings must be paid by the petitioners. Must be paid by who? The petitioners. Right. So, technically, Eileen and William are the petitioners. Yes. The ones requesting this. There's no application for this. Normally right. we charge a $25 application fee and a $150 escrow. I need to know what fees they need to pay so that we can cover the public hearing oh. cost. And mainly we're looking for what? The cost of electricity? Or <laughs> heat that night if we got 50 <laughs> cents? I mean, well, no, the, so the. Oh, the notice, we got to be here. So that's like um, our little. We got to be having it here. So the $150 escrow covers usually the public hearing advertisement costs the abutters notices, and then anything else that comes up. And then if the 150 isn't completely used, we give the money back. Okay. Is that something that the board would be willing to advocate? Make a motion on? Yeah. Wait. We'd have to motion that. Yes. And then oh. the, the other thing is it, it only says public hearing notice. Do you want a butters notices sent? Or yes. Or do you only want the public hearing notice? No, we want the butters to be notified too. Okay. Because why would we have a public hearing if the butters have been, say there's yeah, butter out there and they don't know, well, that ain't right. <laughs> we need to let the Everybody butters. Everybody gets a shopping guide. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, so everything that gets went over, we're going to need motions to yeah, go through everything. Point. Right. Okay, first off, we need to make a motion on the fee. I'll make the motion the fee is set at $150. In escrow. In escrow. Okay. Nice second. Nice Roger. Second. Roger. Now in favor? Amendment. Oh. I want strict accounting of what was charged to these people. Well, she will do. Desiree does that. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know. 
Yeah. I want to pay her hundred and fifty bucks to this yeah. house. Yeah. If she don't do everything, and he wants ten percent. Well, is she, her time has to be included. Our time has to be included. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, normally the escrow doesn't include your time and my time. It's the advertising cost, the right. advertising notices, okay. any kind of fees incurred because for that process. And I'll say I agree with her now because we're having a meeting that night anyway. We we would be here no matter what. A regular meeting. So our time. I'll try to keep it low. Let's try to keep it well, logical. The the advertisement costs. I will wait until we get a bill from your weekly shoppers guide. But it's been running sixty eight to ninety five dollars just for advertisements. Wow. And then your butters is how much a letter? Uh, it's a dollar something a letter. There's only like well, it's within five hundred feet, so there could you know. The, could be a dozen, ten the, or twelve. The sand pit takes up quite a bit of that five hundred feet, but on the the rest of mm -hmm. that U shape, there could be a few. But I would say one hundred fifty dollars should cover it. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. That's the motion we have on the table. We have a second. I second it. All in favor, show of right hand. Unanimous. Okay. Now that one's out of the way. Yeah. Now then, what was the next one we had a question about? About the public hearing. Anytime. Uh, are we going to make a motion to have a public hearing? Yes, we don't have to do that when she gets to talk. I can't accept it. It would be during regular office hours. Could be so if you want to be a list. It could be next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. I was three hours away. Yeah, so either mail in or check or I will send, I will send an email to the office in the morning letting them know to expect a from you. And however you guys can yeah, deliver. Okay. okay, what was your next question? A motion? Um, the next question was. Um, Scheduling the public hearing. Scheduled the public uh, hearing. It would be our next meeting date, September which would be September 21st. September the 21st. Yep. At, at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Which is normal for us. Mm -hmm. I need a motion for that. I'll make the motion. Slayma, Slayma makes a motion. Second. Second. Roger, all in favor? Unanimous. Did you want a sidewalk? No. No sidewalk. No. Can we have a motion? Well, why not? Unless you guys want it, if you guys want it, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I mean, no, all no. we're doing is changing. Uh, what we're doing is pretty significant. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I'd like to see it done, but I think we got to be very cautious as we proceed. Okay. Okay. Motion to have a sidewalk. I mean, wait a minute, just a minute. So what the, dates have you got, that, the, Desiree? The Saturday directly before that meeting. Excuse me, is September 17th? September 17th. That's the motion you need to put down. At 9 o'clock? Up to you guys. At 9 o'clock. Can you, everybody make it? Yeah. Because not good. too early. I'm good. Any of you good? Sure, I think so. Okay. I'll grab you. Okay, I need a motion. <laughs> motion? Again, you make the motion. Andy, make I'll a motion. Yeah, a motion. We have a site walk on on September 17th at 9 o'clock. Okay. I second. Second by Saban. All in favor? Unanimous. Um, because it doesn't say in the ordinance to send out a butter's notices, I would like a motion telling me to do that, please. I'm telling you, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make that motion that we ask the executive secretary to send out notice letters of notice to all of others to this property at, oh man, I'm going to have R129. R129. I second. Second by Slavin. All in favor? Unanimous. Are we through with motions? I think that nope. covers, you know, covers. I'm getting motion sickness. <laughs> um, no, excuse me. Stop. While we're on this subject, the reason this has been such a go around is that there was no permit issued to start with for, for what we're doing right now. Well, and no therefore, all we did was get the signatures done, but there was no permit. What do you mean permit, Harvey? I'm lost. Well, a permit to rezone. Whatever whatever we did this is, should be precedent to whatever we do for rezone. In, in, in future. In the future. Because I think we did it quite in, in detail in our motions tonight as far as the planning board. Right. Our part. So if that's the case, they should come to the planning board and then go back to the town clerk. Well, no. That's not what it says. If you read our book. Okay, but I mean, this has been flip flopping around because there has been no permit, no place to put it. It's got to be it's, it's amendments it's initiated. Amendments initiated by petition. It says must be. 
don't have no option, must be presented to the town clerk and board of selectmen who shall then transmit them to the planning board. Which is so it's got to come to you guys first. Mm -hmm. It's got to be a petition coming to you guys, just like this was done, and then you guys forward it to us to act on it. And then we send it back. And then we send it back. And then you send it back. Yes. So you, there's, there's two options. There's a request to the planning board in the subsequent favor of the majority of the board, or the written petition with the signatures. Right. No, I, we need the written petition. Right. That's what, so, we need but, to stay with that. But, but it's but item it's three, it's four. Either or. Huh? On, on the ordinance, it's either or. A so, or B. So if they, if hypothetically, if they had just written a letter asking the planning board to look at this, that would have been sufficient instead of going for the petition for the same. Uh, and and, and uh, the flip side of that is if we say no to you, you still have the option of going to the town. You understand? Right. right. So, I, you know, I don't think, I don't know what weight our, our opinion has. It's based on, you got 81 signatures on that thing. Mm -hmm. If you get all your people to show up, you're going to pass you your get voted in anyway. That's, that's the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Uh, can I ask you a couple questions, though? Sure. That's why I'm here. Um, when you bought this property, mm -hmm. were you aware of the zone? Yes. Uh -huh. But we were also told by the previous owner and the real estate agent that the town was in favor of changing the zoning and that he was already actively pursuing the information to do that, the previous owner. Go find him and shoot him. Yeah, find him. <laughs> yeah. This is the first we've heard of this. Yeah. I know. When, and if I can just make a comment, there's a major problem with communication as far as to no one has contacted me hardly at all about anything. The only way I've found out anything about what process is going on and what's happening is by watching the videos of the select meeting and just happening to pick up on information in the meeting. That's why I'm here tonight, yeah. because I saw last week and you know, and Debbie was nice enough to send me an email saying, okay. We wouldn't contact you because we would not know right. nothing about it. Right. I know. <laughs> but the process itself is the fact that you send your signatures to the town clerk and then you get no reply if they're good or not. They automatically have to pass it on even though they know it's not valid, but they can't come back and tell me I, that I it's not valid. Saying, yeah. I hear what you're saying. You know, yeah. so maybe in the future that piece can get adjusted with the selectmen. I don't know. Better communication. Because, <laughs> well, just the fact that to, to allow you to go and amend your signatures if needed. Because I had no idea that seven of them weren't valid right. until I watched the meeting. And that's where I found out from David's comments that some of them didn't pass. Well, you, you need to find a, get a get the page from our clerk, I mean, from our executive secretary if you could, and have her give you page 12 out of our book, especially item B. Section 10, Amendment B, Procedure, because it tells you very much in detail here what's got to be done. You might know that. Well, and we keep getting bits and pieces, but once we did the signatures and submitted them with the drawing and the information, that was the like end of communication. Well, if we give you a copy of this book, then this page, you'll know in detail, because it talks about the ordinance, it talks about the town selectment, and it talks about us, the planning board. She's going to give you that. <laughs> it's all on the same page. Yeah. Can, can I comment on your comment, Matt? Um, just having that piece of paper isn't going to change your quality of communication. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we already have this piece of paper. Well, it doesn't really help you explain what you really need to do. I mean, yeah, I've had yeah. multiple yeah. conversations with you. Things you know, about where, what's our yeah, next step? What do we do? You're doing way better than the previous order because he started this twice. <laughs> he started yeah. trying to do it and twice. He, he, okay. But I understand. We're going to try to help you where we can. Sure. Okay, Desiree. Okay. This is something to keep in mind as you guys work through editing and updating the ordinances. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's just, just. It's, it's just a challenge. It's a challenge. This book is a, this book is a challenge. Oh, I'm sure. Because the way it's written, put together, I put it not the way it's written, the way it's put together. How big is your lot? 1.73. It used to be the um, rest stop. Yeah, I know the place got okay. a pump in there. We used to get our water. Pump's still there. Yeah. We're going to fix it. Okay. 
So that's where we're at. <laughs> so we have a site visit set up, Desiree. Desiree, site yeah. visit set, yeah. public hearing set, yes. and then we will make will, a decision. I will be sending out a butter's notices, yep. and Miss um, Harmon will be sending a check for the $150. Yes. It's, and whatever's not used, you'll send it back to them. Right. Okay. Do you okay. need to be at the site walk? Yes. You don't well, need to be. You need to be. If, if one of you was there, it'd be just fine. What What you should do is if you, uh, you're planning to build there, correct? Right. Correct. Stake out where you want the building so they have an idea of what Where the, the building is going to sit on your lot. Yeah. It's totally wooded solid. Posts, you know, just mm -hmm. so they have an idea. Trees, <laughs> yeah, flag some trees. Just, just flag okay. some trees so they have an idea of what, yeah. what they're Yeah, where, we, where are we looking at? Okay. Just, just to keep in mind, we live three hours away, so I'm happy to come down when we need to. I just need a little advance notice to be able to get here. Definitely okay, there's that one's done then. Okay. And, and don't, you know, you got to be vocal here, okay? So if you don't get what you want, come here and, oh, uh, and speak up. Uh, <laughs> and tell speak up. That's the way it's I just, you know, I'm trying to follow the rules, boys. Well, you can follow them. <laughs> still, you still got to speak up. <laughs> okay. Slight plan. That's done. Now we're going back to... Uh, yeah. Let's go to D next. Yeah. Site plan review, Karen Flannery and Robert Spielvogel, map U14, lot 001, current and proposed use, seasonal count, bathroom addition with utilities. And that package is in our book and our, well, yes, you do have it some place. Uh, excuse me, can I make one comment? Uh, the, the way it's written, the, there's not going to be an additional bathroom. It's we, we haven't it's, it's in there. Okay. It's in there. Well, proposed use, seasonal count, it's going to two bedrooms and one bath. Yeah. So you're not putting another bathroom no, on. You are not. No. But you're putting on enough space to make an additional bedroom. No. No. no well, it's, it's, you're adding something back here. <laughs> we're, we're getting rid of the bathroom that we currently have and the way, adding, the way putting the new there. bathroom in the addition. The way it's drawn, it would look, look to me like you're putting on a new bathroom. Yes, we are. We're putting on a new bathroom. The existing bathroom becomes a hallway. We'll get you through. Because it's about the size of a hallway. Let me get to that page. Okay. Here it is. This is the one I like to look at because it shows it. But we need to look at the whole package, guys. Mm -hmm. While you're looking at the package, I've already looked at it. I've made a lot of notes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. So that's going to allow me to run to the bathroom while you guys are looking at it. Who tells me I'm looking at the one? Who has the one? Okay, 177 Randall Lake Road. Let me try to place that in my mind. <laughs> Jim, do you fish? <laughs> oh, I know that road really well. Okay. But on uh, one end of it, I've got Will Ryan all the way at the end that goes up the hill. Will's at the end, yep. Chipmunk Lane. Okay. Yep. And then where are you guys in reference to that? We, we're, we're the first camp on the pond. After, after, after you come after, in. After the dam. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we're the first one there. Sort of a mustardy colored one. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can't. You can't see it from the road. There's a lot of trees around. Yeah, we don't like your neighbor. Yeah. Who's that? The one that built, bought all the property around there. You mean Mike? Me? <laughs> don't like? Him. No, because he bought the dam and won't let us take our dogs there anymore. Michael Wall. Yeah, he's. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we yeah, we used to go because I live on Maple Crest, so I live. Oh. So where the lake is, I'm pretty much like straight across. Where are you guys? Um, River and Colt. There. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which road? Which road? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, and yeah, it's been it's been 
Yeah. Well, they've got enough drama chairs on the down there. Yeah, yeah. Now, too short. There's not enough drama yeah. for that. That's all, said, all you need to get the application through some nice drama. Get to the water where I know Alex, I don't want to watch this more than cable. I know. Yeah. 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 Trying to find out who's the water. Yeah, the first oh, one. Oh, that's, that's good to know. Thank you for telling me because uh, I, I don't know him personally or. So, maybe this one is a 12 by 13 foot. Can you guys figure out from this how big your proposal is? Yeah, well, because. If it's like 12 by 13 and a half. 12 by 13 and a half right here. You guys are on the agenda. You have a right to be here. Roadside facing. I can't tell where the water is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, do not. No, no. It's going to be all right because it's not, not, not before. Not before we get hurt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Do I hear another state law? So yeah. So where's the first template? <laughs> yeah. Mustard colored one. Yeah. It was going long. Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay. nice place down there. You know, yeah. it, it's a beautiful spot. Yeah. It's pretty quiet. Yeah. 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 Phew, fine. Yeah. Yeah. It is quiet. Okay. Move forward now. They get to charge with everybody. A lot of drawing. A lot of drawing. Yeah. I like it. You stayed up at night and lay around this. Oh, yeah. Like, I go to that, I've got drawings. Less expensive. I like this one. This is a good one. Because <laughs> it shows where they're going to actually add to it. Right. Yeah. On the road side of it. Yeah. 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 And that, you know, you can tell yeah. mm -hmm. by, by what they've got here, mm -hmm. just by the drawings, what's really going on, other right. than the words. You can tell. I yes. Can. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got him. That's why we got him. <laughs> okay. If we don't get it, we ask him to Now then. Uh, Oh, yeah, I like that Do you happen to have a copy of the of the form where all the things laid out that what we expect you to give to us? Yeah, the A through A through Y. You should have got, it. Should be in your packet. I know it, Just but to make sure you got it. Whenever I went through this, yeah, I found some things in my opinion that are not in the packet. Oh, okay. Or are not laid out like they should be okay. laid out. Let's put it that way. Okay. You may you may have put something in, okay. but it's not. I Let's agree. go down the okay. first one I've got. I, I got a question on G. G, the site plan survey. Location the size of any existing sewer, water mains, culverts, drains that was served to they call it development or your property, where they're on or off the property, along with the direction of existing surface water right. drainage. We need to know all that, which way your surface water is going to drain off your site. Yeah. If you got any culverts in there, like it near your um, nope. driveway, nope. 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 Um, nope. water main, where's your water main coming? Are you got a well? We got yeah. a well. The well is marked on there. Yeah. Okay, but how's the well? Where's the line go from the well to the house? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, can, I can draw that into yeah. it right now. Yeah, draw that in. Yeah. Straight to the yeah. house. Okay, then let's go down to H, <laughs> the very next one, H. Okay, let me just, let me make note. Okay. Of uh, what you want me to do, and do you want me to She's do it tonight, or do you want me to resubmit? No, you're going to, you'll probably have to resubmit. Resubmit, so. okay. What's your mission, Randall Lake Road? Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, let's see, where's the last one? Oh, let's see. H, you don't, I mean, you don't have nothing on Location and names and present widths of existing streets that are out through there. There's, how wide are your streets? There's only one. So how wide is it? Oh, okay. The right. word is your. Uh, okay. Sure it doesn't show on here. No, it doesn't. Like road. Nope. I looked. Okay. I, I looked. <laughs> it's a ten rod road, but that's okay. That don't mean that don't tell me nothing. You okay. need. You need to go out there and say, put the tape. This is how wide it is. Okay. The lot is twelve feet. Okay. Location dimensions of existing driveways, streets, parking, and loading areas, walkways on the site. Okay. The dimensions on your driveway. There's no dimensions on your driveway. Okay. There is no driveway. There's, you got one listed. It's listed as a gravel drive. <laughs> well, it's a, if it's a gravel drive, it's a driveway. Yeah, well, okay. You got to get into your property somehow. Well, I've got this scale here, so you want me to just write it on? Write it on there. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Mm -hmm. Location of intersecting roads or driveways within 200 feet of your property. Your neighbors, is there any neighbors within 200 feet of you? Yeah. So you're gonna to have to show their driveways on there too. I don't, I don't think your neighbors within 200 feet of you. Well, it's what, I, I'm saying it's what? 200 feet of the site. Yeah. What, 200 feet of the site. So How the, big is your lot? From, from the driveway. driveway. Yeah. yeah. From, yeah. No, it's not what it says here. No, no, yeah. Within our 200 feet of site. Oh. It don't say driveway. So, okay. And then I, I mean L, JKL, location of over open drainage, wetlands or standing of trees, other important natural features. Okay, so there's anything that's natural on your site, you should show it on your drawing. You won't see anything because it's all trees. <laughs> well, that's okay. Just, just, just put a I do, do a separate just, one and do no, trees no, all around? No, no, just do like that. Say, just do around, okay. And just say stand of trees. Okay. You don't have to draw all the trees on it. Just do a big uh, yeah, yeah. squiggly yeah. area. Yeah, okay. Will Google Map work? Huh? Google Map. Yeah, Google Map will help you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. In fact, Miss Allard used Google Map. She did a good job with that. Yeah. Okay. Location and dimensions of any existing easements and ten copies of existing covenants or deed restrictions. If there's anything. No. Okay. No deed restrictions. No easements. Okay. Just put, when you end, then put that down and then write it. No deed restrictions and, and uh, no easements. Or you okay. can just write not applicable, right? No, I want to see that. Yeah, see, that's okay. I, that one I want to see. Because okay. some of them I skipped over if you look when I'm going down. Now, you guys might want some more stuff other than just me. Proposed development activity. Down here, this is not a development activity. Right. So anything starting with O through the bottom, unless you guys want to see something, I don't know if we need to do that because it's existing property, it's right. existing building, and all she's doing is renovations to it. Right. Or uh, they are doing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the, only, yeah, the only possible concern with this, and it's not really a concern, it's a shoreline district, which is they're building on the side that's already towards the road. Towards the road, away from the shoreline. And, we, and it's less yeah. than our one time allotment of 30%. The percentage. Is right, yeah. it's 20%. Well, the uh, CEO would tell us that when he yeah. looks at it. Yeah. Now, they, are they set back far enough, the house set back from the high water mark? They're, they're up on a hill. You, you guys are going to have to look at it as sidewalk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and see the situation. So you don't, it may not be exactly set back as from the high water line, but if they're up here, then yeah, yeah. there's going to make up some difference. They could be a little closer. Right. Okay. That's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. All right. You need to be at that sidewalk with us. Oh, absolutely. Please, sir. <laughs> Brendel Lake Road. Okay, this is theirs. Uh, additional property, you've got another property besides you want? On the other side of the road. On the other side of the yeah. road, yeah. okay. You got your warranty deed in here. I like your drawings about the addition. Thank you. I, I like drawings more than I like words. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can, I get that. Okay. Coming, coming out of civil engineering, it makes a, drawings tell me a lot more. Right. Um, now then, on page. What is this here? Why did I have, oh, the setbacks. On this one here, this drawing here. Yep. Uh, it's put out by sight lines. Yep. They don't show your setbacks from your property line to the your house. How far, is, what's the distance between the property line and the house here and the backside where it's really close? What's the distance from the property line to the house? Okay. All right. Because I, there I are setbacks. The scale on it, but I'll there's, the there has to be setbacks, and we you need to write those numbers in there. Okay. And the front, too. The setback for the front. Mm-hmm. Well, the big drawings one I really like. If it's on this one, it would be a lot better. I can, this absolutely, is I'll like. do it on that this one. This is I've a got great my scale one. down, and I've now got then, it. Which, it in. Yeah. <laughs> which way, though? No. Which way is a leach field in reference to your septic? Is it going towards... Is the field going towards the house, towards the east, it, west, it's or? It's an existing septic, so it's a cesspool. It's got to have a leach field. It's a cesspool. It's a cesspool? Mm hmm That's not a septic. Yeah. It's, a cesspool. it's a working cesspool. It's a working cesspool. I don't even like to hear that word. I didn't just draw my mind. I didn't just draw my mind. I know. I know. It all just percolates down. It just goes down. down it's like going out, right? <laughs> it just goes yeah. down. That could be a requirement in HHE 200. What's that? Yeah, uh, a septic system. Yeah. Uh, 
Wait a minute. We can't. We just, just we don't know that we can retro. No. No. I'm <laughs> changing a bathroom. We're going to make sure that well, the, the septic systems are set up for bedrooms anyway. They're set up for bedrooms. So it's still two bedrooms and one bath. It's okay. not nothing changed. Okay. No. Well, yeah, we're actually going to be reducing the amount of water because we're going to get very low flow. And, okay. Uh, and also the, uh, the, the dishwasher now. I'm the dishwasher. I'm the <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the things that we need for okay. you to add and okay. bring back to us, and bring it back to your whole package again with these additional things in it, if you would, please. Okay. Okay. So and then we'll redo the whole pack. Yeah, redo okay. the whole pack and add all this into it. Okay. Because I'm sure we'll, it's just the same. Um, okay. So that's all we need, and we'll be able to uh, no. next time we'll be able to. Look at your package. If it's complete, we'll have a, we're going to have our site visit before then. We'll also have our public hearing that night too. That same night as a okay. as a meeting. Okay. So um, are we going to? We haven't scheduled hers though, have we? No. 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 So so time up just a second. So I'm trying. I'm look what time it is. I understand, Alan. I want to go home too. <laughs> All right, Alan. I have G H J K and N. Okay. Okay. Did I miss anything or those? I think there's the main ones. Okay, those five, and, and we're sure that those are the five we need. Can we have a motion that those are the five that we want to see for next time? Uh, let me make sure. Let me look and see. G H J G H J K L L N. And so six. There's six of them. Six of them. Okay. I need a motion. Emmons and Mary, correct? Yes. Okay. No, no, motion. N. N, N, is, N, 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 is, N, N is in N. We have a motion. I, I have a motion that it's incomplete. And and we need to add the six items into the new package. We need six items added to the new package. Add to the new package when they submit it. And I second it. And Roger seconds it. All in favor? Unanimous. All right. No. You get a schedule to say welcome. Yeah. So, I do. I did receive an email this afternoon from the butter, and I didn't know if you wanted to me to read it and address it. I'm sorry, I didn't print it out, and I can't print it out right now. Do you want to address? Let it? Let them come in. Let the butter come and address it at our public, public, our right public hearing. Okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Yep. Um, so site walk. We have one on the 17th at nine. That one at what? How That's far away is this from that one we're having? Half an hour. Half an hour. So yeah. 10 o'clock. Maybe it's a little more than half an hour. And from out on 25, they got to go Randall Lake Road. It's about a half an hour. If, if you go up, go up Allen, go 160, go down Maple Crest, Fenderson, Randall Lake, it's, it's about 25 minutes, maybe. maybe. You could catch the other end of Randall Lake. Go <laughs> you, you could. It depends on your vehicle. <laughs> We're just putting that thing together. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. If I can find it. <laughs> how about sorry, that's my safari board? How about ten o'clock on the seventeenth? Yeah, seventeenth okay. yeah. is Saturday. It's a Saturday. Okay, that's for the site. We do all our site visits on Saturdays because okay, some of these guys still work. Okay. So we Saturday at ten o'clock on seventeenth at ten o'clock. Motion. I make the motion. Second. Second. Second by Andy. All in favor? Unanimous. And then we'll have our public hearing for them right after we do the other one. Okay. Same night on uh, 21st. 21st. First. Okay. We'll go back to back public hearings like we've been doing. Make a motion. We've got to have a motion. So is, I'm sorry, can I, is this, so we're, there'll be a public hearing about our, okay. It's standard. It's standard okay. practice. Okay. That way your butters, like she's mentioned, there's a letter from some of butter. Mm -hmm. That person can be here okay. at that public hearing and address their letter. Okay. Yes, okay, move to have a public, Wait, okay. public hearing. What was the date? September 21st. 21st. First. Following the other hearing. The other hearing for the <laughs> following the first hearing. Second. So I'll second. Second, so. second by Saban. All in favor? Unanimous. Bring your fish and nothing. Okay, thank you guys. Bring water. Thank you. Thank you.
That's done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, the next one I'm out of anyway, so I'm going to go take a piss. <laughs> 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 I want to be here to hear. So you guys know that I won't be, I won't be gone that long. Restroom? restroom? Okay. <laughs> May I um, share? No, I just want you to talk to you leaving. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, what's up next? I think we jump back up to our budget process and submission A. So we need to do the other one first because it's kind of more. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, but it's kind of more loaded. Oh, no, there's no ideas like that. Okay, I think we can get this done quick. I think we can get that done. Okay. Because it does read. All we got to do is just ask her if she got it all under control and she got everything we need to do. She wants to get everything for us and she's submitted for the budget. Do we need anything? We need a new board. You should buy one board. We were going to buy a camera. That never happened. It was supposed to happen, but the board of select. Are you guys still going to buy? A uh, video yes. system for in here? We're all, we've got one on order. Okay. Yeah, they, I knew they was going to. So you got one order? Yeah. Okay. No, we don't know when it's going to go. We're trying to be, uh, whoever you buy from is going to come in and set it up and everything? Well, it's just all on that. Okay. 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 Well, the generators are all on that. Guess we talked about two different things. Yeah. 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 I heard about it. You've had it easy yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't tell me that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to skip back up to new business uh, uh, number 6A. Okay. Budget process and submission. Thank you. So the budget Thank process you. is well, basically over. Okay. Um, we, so I had talked to Harvey, and Harvey had mentioned he might be able to get us our maps for us from maybe the general fund or maybe something else. Uh, I did get an email from Southern Maine Planning and Development Commission. Yep. Yep. She stated that the, the map we sent, um, the yep. one we have is from yep. 2009. The reason it's so hard to read is because there are so many layers to it. Um, so overlays, yeah. Yep. So she suggested um, that uh, there are a few towns that have split their shoreland zoning out and have it as a separate map. So they essentially have two maps, land use and a shoreland zoning, which like is an that. option. I like that. Um, she said that they would want to update all the parcels so that all the lots are on there. Um, <coughs> let's see. Um, what was the other thing? Anything else? Um, they, they said they can improve the colors if we maybe separate out the shoreland zone. It might make, might make things a little bit easier. Um, they are estimating 2500 to complete the work. Jeez. What? So we Holy cat. Well, um, could, I, got, I got the letter in front of me. Mm -hmm. what, what do they mean by layers? So um, what I'm assuming is the, the shoreland zoning, the parcels, and then the, uh -huh. the zoning. So, so mm -hmm. think of it as the parcels, and then you got the zoning over it, and then on top of that zoning, you got the shoreland zone, so, so essentially, it's multiple layers of, of okay. data. Uh, okay. The picture of when they shoot it, they shoot it down, uh, Andy. Uh -huh. There's the guy to be that on the table. They shoot, they shoot down layer number one. Let's say it's parcels, whatever. It's, okay, that's on there. Then that's there. Then they, then they go next to zoning, and they shoot that down on top of that. So it's a layer on top of layer on top of layer, and that's why it's so hard to read because it mixes the colors up and okay. it shifts them together sometimes. So, the, so that's why she's saying if we can pull all the shoreland zoning out of there, that's that's a layer that comes off right. that it gets rid of at least a color around right. the shoreland zoning, making it easier to see the, the one the colors underneath and the colors around it. Right. Um, and, and I think what she was saying is she could update the colors themselves. I mean, we have tan, brown, and yellow. I mean, I, I think if we could get those colors updated as well to more 
you know, more distinct. like like you said, prominent and distinctly yes. defined. If, if right. we could get those changed, I, I mean, twenty five hundred seems like a lot, but if, if we're updating it thirteen years worth of data, it it, it might not be as crazy Bad, as it yeah. sounds. Harvey, you know, what, what, what company are you doing? SMPDC. And you might want to ask that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I sent an email to Paul Schumacher, but Reagan Young, and she tagged Lee J. Feldman, who is the yeah. uh, planning yeah. director. I'll see Reagan um, next week, so I'm going to talk to her about it. Okay. Can I ask a question? Uh, there's a way that if we can do this on acetate, we can lay our own layers. You yeah. can pick them apart whenever you want. If, mm -hmm. if I can find out if they can do that. Right. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. Um, like I said, I think the the budget is, process is basically done. So even though we wanted a warrant article 